Let's take a look at replacing an ignition coil on this 2001 Dodge Intrepid 2.7 liter engine. Now we've got the firing order here being 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, and 6 on the other side of the engine. So we're going to replace this one right here and you'll see it's pretty straightforward. We've got our electrical connection on the top here. I'm going to pinch the tab and slide it back out of the way. And then I've got two bolts with an 8 millimeter head that I need to remove. While I'm in there, I'm also going to go ahead and replace the spark plug. Now the ignition coils on this vehicle are quite accessible. We don't have to remove any intake manifolds or anything like that to get at any of them. And you'll see these two bolts come out with relative ease. So I'll quickly remove the ignition coil here. I'm going to take my spark plug socket. Using an extension here as well, but I'm going to remove the spark plug. And the spark plug didn't come up out of there, so I'm going to have to grab a magnet and pull that up. But you'll look at the old coil here. Now the boot looks relatively clean. If there was a bunch of oil and contamination down inside the cylinder there, we would want to make sure to correct any of those leaks before putting this back together. So uh, we don't need to worry about contamination or valve cover issues at this point. So let me grab my magnet. and I can pull the spark plug up out of there. Now again, it looks pretty clean up here. There's no oil leaking down into it. You can see the thing may have been burning a little bit of oil here, but with over 200,000 miles on the odometer, I'm not overly concerned with that. We'll set our new plug down in there. I'm gonna go ahead and start it by hand here. Hit it as far as I can by hand. Go ahead and snug it down with a ratchet. Take my new ignition coil, pop it into place. Now I'll install the two bolts. You get them started by hand here. And finally I'll use a ratchet to snug them down, get the coil locked down into place. Plug in my electrical connector and the job is nearly complete. We want to make sure if there are any trouble codes set by the previously faulty ignition coil, we want to go in and clear those out. Start the car up, make sure it's running perfectly fine on all six cylinders again. But hopefully now you see just how straightforward it is to replace the ignition coil on this 2.7 liter Dodge Intrepid engine.